I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters we're going to discuss how to do some basic editing on your YouTube videos for free using Windows Movie Maker. If you're running Microsoft Windows you can get Windows Movie Maker for free off the internet and I'll put a link to the uh, website where you can get Movie Maker in the video description below or you can just Google Windows Movie Maker and it should take you to the site. Now Windows Movie Maker is part of Windows Essentials so when you install it um, you'll be given a choice of various programs you can install and you might miss it at first because it's listed as Photo Editor and Windows Movie Maker so you have to select Photo Editor and Windows Movie Maker to get it installed. You don't have to select any of the other programs in Windows Essentials if you don't want and they're all free so you can install as many or as few as you want. Alright I'm gonna open up uh, Windows Movie Maker here and uh, Windows Movie Maker is really the nicest free uh, video editing program for Windows available. You can get some other editing software uh, that's more sophisticated but it's going to cost you money for example you could uh, get a copy of Sony Vegas and Sony uh, has several versions of Vegas available uh, for different prices depending on what features you want alright we're going to start off first by going up here and we want to make sure we go to the project tab and you have two different formats. By default, we'll probably be set on standard format, which is the older uh, format, uh, which was uh, common for TV sets. Uh, everything now is going uh, high definition, and high definition is widescreen, which is this 16 by 9 ratio widescreen. So make sure that's selected for your project. Now we'll go back to home. And we're going to go uh, add videos and photos. And I'm going to just pick a video clip here. Now, um, at the bottom right corner here, you'll see uh, this, this kind of scale, the slider down here. It has a plus at one end and a minus at the other. If we go all the way to the minus side, drag the the slider all the way to the minus side, the entire video clip shows up as one frame. But this is the entire video. Uh, and the reason you would slide it all the way over to that side, for example, is if you had multiple video clips and you wanted to order them. That way they would just be one frame that represented the clip you'd know what the clip was typically and then you could move them around to the order you wanted uh, as you are doing finer and finer editing and trying to get to a particular frame you want to kind of expand the timeline so the more we expand this over the more it stretches out the video so the finer you can find a frame because you, where you click is more on a precise frame so let's say I want to cut off the end of this video. A lot of times you may shoot a video and the last frame or the last part of the frame might be you turning off the camera or getting up to turn off the camera or leaning forward to turn off the camera and you may want to cut that out. So what I'll do is I'll click until I find a frame that looks good where I'm looking into the camera and after I've stopped speaking. So you may want to actually uh, play the videos, find find where you end up stop talking. Yeah. And that's where I stop talking. And then I'm going to pick a frame by clicking, say I want to stop right here. Now what I do is I go up to edit, I click on this edit tab here, 
and you see there's a trim tool here and it says set start point set end point well this is where we want the video to end so we're gonna click set end point and that cut off everything after where we put the cursor we can do a similar thing up at the beginning of the video by finding where we want the video to start if we want it to start later like sometimes when you start a video there may be a little space before you actually start talking and you may want to cut off part of that space and so you would select wherever that would be and then you would hit set start point in this case this is particular clip starts off uh, pretty much soon after uh, the video starts so there's not really any place to cut it off so I'm going to just leave it as it is but you can set the start point and the end point of the video another thing you can do is you can use over here is something called split split say I want to take a segment of this video out um, I could actually uh, select the beginning of where I wanted to take it out and hit split that splits the video and then I would find the end point and I'd click on it and uh, if there is a choice for example if I can there's a space of time I might be able to cut that video I would find the best frame so that it would match closest to uh, what was coming before it so the uh, edit wouldn't be as noticeable and then I would hit split again and so I have this segment and I can highlight this segment and hit the delete key and it will take it away and I've gotten rid of that segment so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit undo a couple of times and bring the video back there and put that segment back in because I didn't really want to cut it out uh, but those are some of the ways you can edit it you can cut off the beginning you can cut off the end you can cut off part of the middle the other thing is, is if you have multiple clips, you could uh, put your cursor back down here at the end. You have to hit this little forward arrow key to get it to go all the way to the end. And uh, then what you could do is you could go back to home and you could add uh, videos and you could find another video and open that and stick that in. Now it takes a second for it once you put it in so it kind of prepares it and um, prepares it for editing. So here's a different clip that I have spliced together. Now I can cut off the beginning and the end of this clip as well to get it adjusted. Uh, so that it fits nicely in there. But I'm going to get, once again, I'm going to undo that and get rid of that because we don't really want to add that to this particular video. That was just an example. The final thing I'm going to do is um, show you how to put a title on your video real quick. Uh, a very simple title. You have over here title, caption, and credits. These are all kind of like PowerPoint slides and they're really just text and they're formatted in different ways but works kinda like PowerPoint basically where you put text up so we're gonna do a title and I'm gonna hit hit title there and by default it has uh, white lettering in a back black background and so I'm gonna put Mungo's movie is the title and uh, it's disappeared here and the reason is is because let's play it here it has a little effect where it fades in and that's using this right here if I click on this we have a lot of different uh, effects that we can use for example we can use this effect right here where you get a star appearing and everything and then the, the uh, title comes out but I'm gonna go back up to the top here and I'm gonna click on this which is just n no effect at all so if we go back to the beginning 
it's just a title and the title shows up the whole time. Generally, you don't want your title screen more than 10 seconds. It should be 10 seconds or less. And the, remember, the more effects you put in, the less time your title may be up. Like if you're fading in, you won't be able to see it the first few seconds. So uh, bear that in mind when you're doing effects for a title. So this is just a simple title. We've edited the beginning and the end of the video. We showed you how to take a chunk out of the center of the video if you want to. So those are some really basic things you can do to clean up your video, make it a little bit nicer for YouTube. Then the final thing you want to do is you want to save your project, which will save this so you can go back and re-edit it if you decide you want to re-edit it and you won't lose all of your work. And the other thing you want to do is you want to save the movie as a movie. And uh, in this case, you would probably want to either pick uh, 1080 high definition or the 720p uh, Hot display down here for high definition zoom. This uh, format here is the 720p format, and uh, typically on YouTube, uh, most high definitions I think are being uploaded in that format because it's it's faster. The 1080p is a little slow uh, because it's it's too high of a definition almost. So we're going to pick this definition and. Uh, you can save it as a Windows Media. It will save it as a Windows Media file. Uh, let's see if you have any other choices. Yeah, it will save it as a Windows Media fi file, and you can upload that directly to YouTube if you want, uh, or you can convert it to a, another format to upload if you wanted to. Uh, but we'll use this native format right here, and uh, just save that as Mungo's movie and it will take a little bit of time for it to um, render the video in its final form because it's creating the titles it's converting into the correct format it's pulling out the edits you will still have on your original video it doesn't actually do anything to the original video so you can go back to the original video and it will still have the beginning and the end cut off but now it's going to render another video that has the edits made in it that we made and has the title screen and everything. So th this will take a few minutes to do that. It takes longer depending on how long the video is. I'm going to cancel out of here for now. And um, then if we go back to home, the other thing you can try is you can actually directly upload to YouTube using this application uh, if you want to. Although I kind of recommend just saving it in the format you want, then watching it, and then uploading it to YouTube. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy technology.